In today's episode, we are visiting Thailand with our taste buds, a restaurant called Yim Siam, meaning Thai smiles. Welcome to an unforgettable culinary journey through the vibrant streets of Thailand, where every dish tells a story and every bite is a celebration of flavor. This is a family-owned restaurant, and there is something very unique about their journey thus far. Hi, I'm Poppy. I'm just mostly involved in managing the back of the house, uh, making sure everything runs smoothly and quality control of our, all of our dishes before it's sent out to the customers, and just making sure everything is fine and ready for the customers to enjoy. Hi, my name is Pete. Um, I'm mostly doing like the front of the house, so like doing like, and also the background, like uh, accounting and all the paperwork for the restaurant and make sure the customer service is top notch. Uh, we are working on some new items for our menu for this new year. Um, you guys will be trying some out today. And so stay tuned for that in the new year. We'll uncover the rich tapestry of Thai cuisine, a cuisine that dances between the delicate balance of sweet, sour, salty, and spicy flavors. Each dish is a reflection of Thailand's diverse landscape and cultural heritage. Prepare to tantalize your taste buds and embark on a culinary escapade within the vibrant walls of Yim Siam. This is All Feast YYC. So we're gonna go behind the scenes to where all these beautiful dishes are made. As I was walking in, my senses were bombarded with the sizzling of the wok and the aroma of the ingredients What's going on together. in here? Hey, Kian, this is where the magic happens. It's our cooking station, and we all here, we have our prep tables. And of course, I can hardly wait to sit down with Poppy so that we can all feast and then cover the entire spectrum of flavors on their menu. So we're at my favorite part, we get to eat. All right, so I think we should start at the chicken saute here. Ooh, okay. So um, how we would do this is just take a skewer and um, take some peanut sauce. Okay. Skewer. Here we go. Put some sauce on here. Oh, okay. Put some sauce on it for you. Sweet, thank you. And Skewers have a rich history in Thailand, dating back to ancient times when they were used for grilling meats over open flames. Traditionally crafted from bamboo or metal, these skewers were integral to Thai street food culture, offering a convenient and portable way to enjoy grilled delicacies infused with aromatic spices and sauces. Let's dig in. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Mm. I love how it's so tender. Yes, it's really, it's like the flavor is amazing. Yeah. Peanut sauce is sweet and creamy. And it doesn't overpower the charredness of the, of the chicken. Peanut sauce has been a beloved staple of Thai cuisine since its introduction by the Indonesian traders centuries ago, adding a creamy and nutty complement to dishes like this chicken satay skewer with these perfect grill marks. And then what is this right here? So this is kind of like pickled cucumber. Mm. Um, we just kind of eat it kind of just in between the peas to cut the flavor a little bit. Like a palate cleanser? Yes, thing? it is, okay, yes. I'm try it. Watch out for the chilies. <laughs> I can handle my chili. <laughs> In Thai cuisine, the tangy and crispy flavors of pickled vegetables are often utilized to cleanse the palate between spicy or rich dishes, providing a refreshing contrast and enhancing the dining experience. As we uncover more hidden gems in Calgary, we realize that we are essentially looking for passionate people. We want to connect them to the city and really shine the light to more restaurants who love what they do. I just love the flavors and uh, the freshness of the ingredients. Like every bite, you just get all the flavors, salty, sweet, sour, spicy, and also the, all the culture that the food shows. In different parts of Thailand, they will, all the food tastes very different depending on the culture. So in our restaurant, we mainly focus on central Bangkok cuisine, but we also have northeastern dishes as well as northern Thailand dishes as well that we offer here. Thailand's culinary landscape is as varied as its geographical regions, with each area, north, northeast, central, and south, contributing unique flavors and techniques shaped by local ingredients and cultural influences. Whether savoring the robust curries of the south, the bold spices of the northeast, or the nuanced dishes of the north, Thai cuisine offers a delicious journey through the diverse tastes of the nation's different regions. So this is 
a platter of everything. So we have our papaya salad here. Papaya salad, known as som tam in Thai, is a beloved and iconic dish in Thai cuisine. We just pair with everything. So we have some boiled egg, crispy pork rinds. Okay. Um, this is butterfly pea uh, vermicelli noodles. Mm -hmm. And we have our lemongrass marinated chicken and as well as our pork sausage. Amazing. Yeah, so, so how we would eat this is just to um, just take a papaya salad here. And then just pair with any of the toppings that you'd like. Oh. So here I'll just, I'll yeah, just take an show egg. Us, show us. For sure. <laughs> and some pork rinds. Wow. And um, however you choose. Awesome. Famed for its bold flavors and refreshing crunch, it combines shredded green papaya with a zesty dressing made from lime juice, fish sauce, chili peppers, and palm sugar, creating a harmonious balance of sweet, sour, salty, and spicy taste. Variation of the dish can include other ingredients such as tomatoes, green beans, peanuts, and dried shrimp, adding layers of texture and complexity to the salad. I personally love how the papaya salad comes with a plethora of other things to pair it with. It really shows the thought put into the dish as it moves the diner through this plate of adventure. One thing that is especially interesting about this plate are these unique looking blue noodles. So wait, what, what makes the blueness of it? It's like, it's a flower. So we soak the noodles in like the flour mixture, like in water, yeah, and then wow. it turns blue. That's insane. I thought it was just like food coloring and make it look special, but nah. No, it's... <laughs> That's it's, amazing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you were saying like, just kind of like pair it with the yes. salad? So you can eat it by itself, okay. or you can also combine it with any the toppings. Mm. What's uh, in a papaya salad? Yeah, so you the white shredded stuff here. We got the green papaya mm -hmm. and some shredded carrots, um, yeah. chilies, some tomatoes, and it's seasoned with um, lime juice, uh, fish sauce, sugar, some uh, tamarind. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'm going to try it on its own first. Mm-hmm. I've never had papaya salad. So you should get some spice. Yeah, it's pretty some, spicy. Yeah. <laughs> some sourness from the lime juice. Mm -hmm. And some, yeah, some saltiness. Mm -hmm. And the tamarind, so, yeah. too, yeah. yeah. Amazing, it's spicy. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it with the pork rind. So if you want, we have our drink here. I really appreciate Yim Siam going above and beyond with providing me with this refreshing Thai tea. What a great meal so far. Spice tea that we have. Just throw in some condensed milk and some mm. sugar. So it should be like a nice, sweet, creamy drink to cool oh, you down. Amazing, okay. Here we go, cheers. Yeah. Oh. Which one is this one? Oh, this one is our iced coffee. Um, steeped coffee with some yeah. condensed milk and sugar as well. So amazing. Should help us Here cool it go. down. Ooh, like it's Delicious. not too sweet. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Oh. Delicious, okay. The combination of the perfect mixture of savory, spicy, sweet, and sour coming together so harmoniously is what makes this dish very memorable for me. The story of how Yim Siam came to be is also so memorable as we have another family business born out of a desire to share the culture in their own way. So we have worked in different Thai restaurants before, but we always uh, wanted to offer something new to Calgary. So once we had an opportunity to take over an existing Thai restaurant called Taste of Thailand, we took it. However, the space was too small to accommodate our, the customer's demand and lack of parking spaces. Fast forward five years, we created Yim Siam Thai Street Food. And we so that we could offer more street, Thai street food dishes more seating space, more parkings, and also we could expand our menus. So moving on, we yeah. will be having this grilled pork chow. It's like the neck meat of the pork. Whoa. Of the, yeah, the pig. Okay. Yeah, so we would eat that with the, some of the sauce and we okay. would eat it with rice. Nice. Uh, what is the sauce? It's like a, a 
tamarind sauce. So oh. it is a little spicy, a little sour and sweet. That's what you should get from there. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Let's get some. So let's get some rice. Okay. Okay, you're supposed to put the rice. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yes, this is the way that we just eat it. Is like yeah. put the rice on our plate and then the mm. the meats and yeah. That is so good to know. But yeah, <laughs> any way works, you know. It's, yeah, it's just food in our belly. It's good. <laughs> okay, so the meat and then here, let me get you one piece here. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? You're gonna get a few pieces. <laughs> Okay, there awesome. you go. Thank you. And then the sauce you were saying just kind of like goes over top. Yeah. Like, okay. Is there like a way to like hold like the... Yeah, I'm, it depends like how on how you it. like... We eat with fork and spoon. Yeah. So I kind of have it like a spoon in my dominant hand. Okay. And just kind of scoop it up and mm -hmm. push the food on like the fork. Okay. Push the food onto the spoon. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right, here we go. All right. I could not believe how tender it was and how the flavors from the grill mesh so perfectly with the marinade. I love the cilantro in it. Mm-hmm. And the meat. I love it. It's like fatty meat. It is. I it's love it. It's really fatty. tender. Mm-hmm. Yes. The sauce so is tender. like sweet, a little spicy. Yeah, and I feel like um, the, the sourness and stuff like that of the sauce kind of cuts through to the fatty meat, yes, which is like yeah. amazing. This is a must try item in my opinion. Delicious. The dish that looks simple, but the depths of prep work for that piece of pork will definitely wake up your taste buds. Before we dive further, I want to know what kind of trials and tribulations that make Yim Siam what it is today. Definitely during the pandemic, because uh, Yim Siam Thai Street Food was created during the, in the middle of the pandemic where when the like the dining in seating was not allowed so that was tough for us because we needed to get our name out there where the customer could you know come and try our food because of dining in is not allowed we couldn't get our name out there and serve the food to our customer the way we wanted it to be if you haven't gotten the sense of resilience through hardship from Yim Sam's story so far, I hope that this is at least proof that family is stronger together. Pushing through the pandemic is no easy feat, but Yim Sam did it. So since we already have some rice on our plate, I'm gonna go over to the curry. Thai curry dishes have a rich history dating back centuries, influenced by trade routes and cultural exchange with neighboring countries such as India and China. The introduction of spices like turmeric, cumin, and coriander from India profoundly shaped the development of Thai curries, contributing to their vibrant flavors and aromatic profiles. Over time, Thai chefs adapted these spices to suit local tastes and ingredients. Here as well, like we eat everything with rice. Mm. So even the curries, we would still eat it with rice. So Amazing. How we would eat this, I don't know if you like this, I'll scoop some out for you. Oh, okay, thank you. So we have on top of the rice. Yes, on top of the rice. So we got some pork, some peppers, and the curry. Mm. I'll take one as well. Is that like a specific kind of curry or like? This is our green curry. Mm. Okay, so Thai green curry. Yes. And what is the difference between that and the? And all of our other curry? Yeah. So the green curry, it's, it's a medium level curry. It's not too spicy. Like the main flavor of it, it's like you get sweetness and then followed by some salty flavor and a red curry would be like I would say the spiciest that we would have oh, yeah and so it's like a spice level thing yes and then like the flavor is a little different okay. too like it's it feels a little saltier okay but like it's not overpowering yeah, yeah salty yeah. and then yeah and then we have like our other curries like the yellow curry which is like our mildest one yeah yeah so nice. yeah this is our, our most popular dish okay yeah green curry okay here we go all right. Yeah, dominant hand. <laughs> <laughs> Push the food onto the spoon. Yes, right. you're learning. It's yes. awesome. Yes, uh, here Today's we go. Thai curries remain a cornerstone of the country's culinary identity, celebrated for their complexity, depth of flavor, and ability to captivate the, the senses. And creaminess. And the peppers really adds its like, little it's flavor. Like a nice crunch yeah. to it, oh. yes. Mm. And like the basil really adds the flavor to that. It's yeah. Really good. 
and then obviously the chicken is perfectly cooked. Yeah. At the heart of Thai cuisine is the concept of yin yang harmony, where contrasting flavors and textures come together to create a culinary experience that is both balanced and satisfying. It's a philosophy deeply rooted in the cultural and culinary heritage of Thailand. This principle emphasizes the importance of balance not only in taste, but also in texture, color, and even temperature. In Thai cooking, dishes strive to achieve equilibrium between opposing elements, sweetness offsetting sourness, spiciness balancing out richness, and softness juxtaposed with crunchiness. This intricate balance isn't just about achieving sensory pleasure, but also reflects a broader cultural belief in living in harmony with nature and one's surrounding. Through the artful combination of contrasting flavors and textures, Thai cuisine invites diners to experience a symphony of tastes that are simultaneously comforting and exhilarating. So we got most of our name like are out there through online orders and takeout. So we were lucky that people were willing to try new food during the pandemic just because they weren't able to go anywhere to dine. So we were glad that helped us out a lot. It was yeah, it was in the works since the August year before. So it it was just bad timing, but everything worked out in the end. Next up, we're on to the Pad Thai. <laughs> pad Thai, one of the most well-known dishes of Thai cuisine. Pad Thai's popularity soared globally in the latter half of the 20th century, becoming synonymous with Thai cuisine worldwide and earning a spot on countless restaurant menus across the globe. Its versatility and adaptability have led to various regions and international interpretations while remaining a beloved and recognizable symbol of Thai gastronomy. A superstar. Yes, <laughs> uh, the infamous. The infamous Pad Thai, <laughs> yes. Okay, anything, uh, this, this is the shrimp one, obviously, yes. right? Um, do you have like other options like beef, chicken? Yes, we could do all of our dishes with your, your, your choice, your preference of protein. Nice. So yeah, we have chicken, pork, beef, and shrimp available, nice. as well as tofu and our vegetarian options. Oh, nice, yeah. okay, here we go. Um, I will get you some first. Um, is there anything specific about this, like to to eat the pad thai? Like, is there a way to? So we would um, add some crushed peanuts Ooh, just for okay. the extra crunch. Right, I noticed a lime there too. Yes, and we also squeeze some limes. Um, add some of the Ooh. acidity to the noodles. Mm -hmm. And also, if you like spicy, there's we have like dried chilies that we add, but. This is the traditional way that we would have it. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so every bite with peanuts and, and lime. Yes. Okay. Sprinkle some. Yeah. How, how much lime do you think? Like. That's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We don't want it to be too sour. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Okay, here we go. All right. Three, two, one. Mmm. There is like this chewiness to the noodles that I really like. And you got like that little crunch mm -hmm. from the peanuts. Yeah. And there's also the bean sprouts in there. Yeah. yeah. A little it's like really nice little It's got a little bit of sweetness in there. Um, is that like the sauce that It is the sauce. It's actually made with tamarind. Mmm. So we do get that like sweetness and the sour from the tamarind. Oh nice. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna eat a shrimp. Of course. Because I love shrimp. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, get you a shrimp. A <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. So far, every dish has brought its own spark that touches on the entire spectrum of taste profiles. Mm. It's got that crunch. I just love how everything is like perfectly cooked. Mm -hmm. It's like not overcooked or anything. Like there's no mush like... You know, sometimes when you eat at a, some pad thai, it's like a little bit mushy or whatever for the noodles. Yeah. But this one has like a good chew to it. Yes, yeah. Every bite has complemented the next one in its own unique way, just like the contribution of every member of this family. Our whole family have worked in various Thai restaurants in Calgary. So it was easier for us to take knowledge from all around us to help us shape the restaurant that we wanted the way we want it to work, and I think that kind of helped us out great. We never really, all four of us, our family, we never really worked in the same restaurant at the same time. Right. Right. Yeah, so it was 
Yeah, it really, it was great. And yeah, like my parents, they all worked in the kitchen and we worked front of house. So it was really great to apply that here when we manage your own place. Yeah. So we are on to our last dish. Oh, oh, oh. This one um, looks crispy. This is our muscle pancake. The Thai muscle pancake is a popular street food dish in Thailand, particularly in coastal regions where fresh seafood is abundant. It typically consists of a crispy pancake made from a batter of rice flour, eggs, and water, mixed with mussels and other flavors with garlic, cilantro, and green so, uh, onion. Our, how we should eat this is just go at it, pour some sauce on top. Okay. Okay, what's just the sauce? It's this the... is like, um, it's like a sweet chili sauce, but um, it's a sweet sweet. Chili. Oh yeah, sorry, it's a sweet chili sauce. Okay. And it's got some sriracha in there. Amazing. Yeah, so All it's, right. it's got the sweet and the spice. Okay. So when the customers taste our food, we want them to feel like this is authentic, like this is real Thai food. Like we want to bring their memories back from like if they've traveled to Thailand, we want to bring that memories back for them, and um, so. We, but not only like that we want them to enjoy the food, we want them to enjoy the service, the atmosphere. So we kept the restaurant design simple, but we incorporated uh, tin sheets and wood panels. So um, that's just mainly because those were the materials that we grew up in, in our house back home in Thailand. So we want it to feel like we want the, to welcome the customers into our home. Right. Yeah, and then just have them served some home cooked meal. Yeah, and um, when after they've eaten, we want them to feel full, feel happy, have a smile on their face, and we want them to feel comfortable enough to tell all their friends and family that, hey, this place is great. Like, you guys should come try it out. Just like our motto, uh, eat, smile, repeat. This pancake is often served with a tangy and spicy dipping sauce made from Thai chili peppers, vinegar, sugar, and fish sauce adding an extra layer of flavors to the dish. While traditionally made with mussels, variations of this pancake may include other seafoods such as shrimp or squid, offering a delightful combination of textures and flavors. It's something that you would like share with your friends. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. It looks so crispy. <laughs> Very excited about you it. You can hear like, yeah, it's gonna be crispy. Oh. Okay, now sauce it up. See, like. Yes. So, however, go ahead. <laughs> Take it up. You're like, go ahead, just yeah, do go it. Go for it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hey. Um, so, I'm just gonna use my hands. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> go for it. Here we go. Mmm. Uh huh? There's a mic, there's a crunch. <laughs> That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. There's eggs in here, yeah. and then the mussels. You get the freshness from the cilantro and the green onion. Mm-hmm. And this. Oh, man. You get the crunch and the sauce. It's a really there's good a, pairing, yeah. There's a lot of cilantro in Thai cooking. Yes, yeah. We like just, that. we put cilantro on a lot of things. It just adds like, another dimension of flavor. It's delicious. I, I love it. Sitting down with Poppy for this wonderful meal really gave me a sense of how proud they are of their journey and culture. There's something about her appreciation for their entrepreneurial expedition that makes me realize that they will continue to thrive in the city of Calgary. Um, I'd say just how far we've come, especially how we've began at the restaurant like during the pandemic. And I feel like we have such a great team. Like I'm proud of our family and um, just all of our staff. Like. They have such great dedication and determination to help us run this place. It just feels like a big family. Yeah. <laughs> in the near future, we'll be opening up the second location. That's in the plan. Yes, um, but with like a quick service concept. So there'll be some dine-in, but we'll focus mostly on takeouts and deliveries. There we have it, folks. Yim Siam serving a variety of delicious foods with a rich history and big ambitions to pair it with. As our culinary journey through the captivating realm of Thai cuisine comes to a close, we hope you relish the diverse flavors, vivid hues, and cultural nuances that make it truly special. Whether you're indulging in Bangkok's bustling streets or savoring authentic dishes right here in Calgary, wherever your culinary adventure takes you, may the essence of Thai culinary artistry continue to enrich your dining experiences.